Uh, shocking, isn't it? Now, a nursing home is no place for a young person, but many have no choice because there aren't facilities needed for their care. And as Sophie Torber reports, the MS Society's new project could be a real game changer. My case um, just came on very, very quickly and um, it's just changed my whole life. Five years ago, John Hannan was as fit as a Mallee bull fifth generation farmer in Port Pirie when he experienced that life changing event while leaving a service station. I felt jelly legged and uh, then just collapsed when I got out into the main area of the survey. A few days later, a neurologist gave the 49 year old devastating news. He had multiple sclerosis. He looked at my uh, x rays and they had this like, little white blotch and he said, uh, it's like someone dipped a brush in white paint and went splash, splash, splash. It doesn't matter if you've, you've never smoked, you've never drunk, you've never done anything wrong in your life. MS is totally indiscriminate. It will find professionals, blue collar workers, men, women, young, old, no difference. But in South Australia, there's no dedicated facility to care for relatively young MS sufferers like John. Instead, he and many others are confined to aged care homes. Marcus Stafford, CEO of the Multiple Sclerosis Society, says it shouldn't be happening. It breaks my heart to, to see young people in aged care facilities. They are wonderful places for people aged between 65 and 90. They are just not the right place for someone aged in their 40s or 50s. The MS Society already operates modern facilities like this one in Perth that accommodates people of all ages. They're now hoping to raise funds to build a similar centre in Adelaide through their Game Changer Lottery. It offers cash prizes with the main prize of $1.5 million. It's also a Game Changer Lottery because for the many, many young people living right here in inappropriate aged care facilities, we want them to enjoy a quality of life that they deserve. John Hannon remains positive and optimistic a cure will one day be found. For me to actually get out of this chair and stand up and walk again, uh, it would be life changing.